Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Um, I'm from America and um, after 14 years I've had a son and my son's now four years old and um, I was concerned with his schooling in America even with Islamic school I noticed that he was picking up certain things and saying certain words that weren't fit for Islam so me and my husband decided to send him over to Pakistan with our family and um, learn his sub book his Qaeda and learn everything related to his religion as well as go to school over there and I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't bad on our part to send our kid over to Pakistan without us and have him learn over there without our guidance. Jazakumullah khair. My dear sister, what a valid concern. Every one of us is concerned about our children because uh, if we have brought up good children, they will help us in the afterlife by praying for us after we've died. That's one of the uh, statements made in the hadith of Rasulullah which says that when a person passes away, all their deeds are, are, are cut besides three. One of them is a child who's praying for you. So yes, everyone has to make decisions and these decisions are not easy to make. So we try our best, whatever we feel within our capacity as parents in the circumstances that we have been uh, put into uh, is the best. That is what we will do. So if you were put in a position where that was the option and that was the best option, then Allah knows that you tried your best. You know, sometimes uh, I know of people who've sent their children to uh, schools that are not Muslim schools, yet they had an option of sending them to Muslim schools because they say, and this is not, I'm not talking of this country at all, but I'm talking of other places. Some people argue that, you know what, the discipline in this school was not good enough. So I shifted my, my child, but I have given the child a, a dose of religious instruction, uh, private tuition of it, so that they can have the discipline of the private school as well as the Islamic knowledge. Look, you as a parent need to have made the plan. You need to have thought to yourself that I am preparing this child for two things, primarily to live a life such that they please Allah. Secondary, to live a life such that they can actually uh, lead it without worry. So they can earn, they will have their children, they will be able to provide, they will pass on that. Two things, one is to live this life and to earn so that we can use in it. And the other, which is more important, is to live the life in such a way that when we get to the next life, we would have the best of it. So this is why the dua says, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana. We, we have to prepare for the goodness in this world and the next and we ask for it. So if you've made decisions, sometimes you find that, oh, I sent my child overseas. That was the best choice that I had. But the child might have reneged or they might have developed some other bad habits. So it depends upon you as parents, the two of you need to get together and you need to have chosen what you believe firmly is better for the child. I cannot tell you it was a right decision. I cannot tell you it was a wrong decision. But I can tell you if you firmly believed that it was a good decision and the place you sent the child to had a, a system in place whereby uh, the child would probably have a better upbringing according to you, then Alhamdulillah. And if you start noticing negative things, then maybe you want your child back. And if, for example, it is depressing you that you are distant from your own child then perhaps bring the child back and make a plan B this is something you need to know because your duty of bringing up your child is yours it doesn't belong to another guy it doesn't belong to a school it doesn't belong to anyone else it belongs to you part of that uh, duty is to choose what is the best according to your capacity so if you are uneasy bring the child and keep them with you I'd rather I'd rather educate my child at home and make a plan with private tuition than to send them to a place where I don't know what's going to happen sometimes you have to take the risk obviously because you talk to other people who've sent their children as well brother you sent your child there what happened they give you a good report five people out of five have given you a brilliant report send your child inshallah we hope they will have goodness as well but if ten people out of eight Eight, uh, sorry, if 10 people out of 12 or 8 people out of 10 have given you a bad report and then you say, no man, I, I can't afford to have the stress of my child here. Every day I'm arguing and fighting. Let me send the child away. In that case, you are sending your child away for the wrong reasons. You could not handle the burden, so you decided let the child go. You know, we have a problem and I'm going to say it. The schools that teach religion 
Sometimes the students that are there are only there because the parents couldn't handle them at home. It happens. So child is not handle, being able to be, meaning the parent cannot handle the child at home, they say, send him to the madrasa, let him go for boarding. What's the reason my father? What's the reason my mother? Because I couldn't handle you at home, they'll fix you up. That is wrong. They'll go there and create disaster and spoil other people's kids as well. You'd rather le let them be with you, start learning, focusing, how to, how to you know, train your children and how to be patient. The environment is changing today. You know, we have, sin has become so accessible that you don't even need to move from your bed to commit sin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May He make it easy for us. Our duty, my sister, is to keep on guiding our children. They might get to the age of 18 and they might, mashallah, be the best of kids. They might get to the age of 30 and then realize. They might realize after you've died. So many people say, I wish my mother was here to have seen where I am today. Yesterday I met some, some people and the, the, the brother told me, I, I wish my mother could see you, oh, what we are doing today. Because the brother must have turned to the faith in a, in a more serious way. So don't become depressed over that, but ask Allah's guidance. And at the same time, like I said, there's no one word answer to say yes or no. But I've tried to give a deeper explanation. Jazakumullah khair.